Yeah, we made it and stay in San Francisco. And I'm gonna head up to the Hate to Amoeba Records. Filbert. We just passed Mason in San Francisco and we're going to get over to the Haight, Haight Ashbury, and I'm going to go to Amoeba Records and we might go into Whole Foods Market and because you can park there actually. So this is great to be back in San Francisco. And here we're at Filbert and Jones, and it's gonna get really steep here, folks. Really steep. Here we go. It's getting really steep, guys. And we're at Leavenworth and Lombard. And we're going to go on into Amoeba. <laughs> and here's the front checkout. And Amoeba San Francisco is just unreal. And again, this used to be a bowling alley. And on the right side of this location used to be a pool room, not swimming pool, billiards. <laughs> so there's a lot going on here. And the expanse of the store is just amazing. Wait till you see this. Now, Amoeba in Berkeley is really cool too. Easy to get lost in here. I've got a hit list. We'll see what happens. Okay, we'll start right here with Bowie pinups. These are all new used arrivals. It's a white album. Sweet. Might have to check that out. John Kill.
And here's the old park bowl sign at the very top, back in the day when it was a bowling alley, Amoeba Records. Great trip to Amoeba, and I'm gonna come back again. So that was just too much fun going to San Francisco. Just for a day and a half, we spent the night down near Fisherman's Wharf, and just a, a great trip. And I did get, of course, to go to Amoeba on Hate, as you saw. I was really excited to do that. And I like to support brick and mortar stores, I really do. You know, I get a lot of great deals on records, you know, thrifting and such, but uh, this is just great. And I uh, really, really like to support uh, Amoeba. The first store was in Berkeley and they opened in 1990. So uh, I, I think I prefer going to the San Francisco store anyway. It's at the, uh, at the east end of Golden Gate Park near Stanion. Now, 11 records, and I will show you the price. I did drop $179 there for 11 records. Uh, that's not that bad. And this record here, um, Discogs was selling it for about $5 less. But, you know, what the heck? You know, online, they're selling this RSD. Joe Strummer, really glad to have this. I would love to have Global a go, -Go but I'll take this. There's the two tracks here. 12 inch single and it's on pink vinyl. Nice to have this in my collection for Joe Strummer. And the tracks on here are Johnny Appleseed, wonderful, and At the Border Guy. Too cool. And in the clearance bin, Joe South and Walk a Mile in My Shoes is on here. Just fantastic. And side one has Clock Up on the Wall, Bittersweet. Side two, children, and then the second track is Walk a Mile in My Shoes. There's Joe. And uh, this is my very first Joe South record ever. I have them on CD, but uh, oh, man, I dig Joe South. Good to have this one. And from 1968, um, I don't even have this on CD, so I did want to get it. You have Bert Yanch, John Renborn, Danny Thompson, Terry Cox, Jackie McShay, and this is the Pentangle on their debut. Pretty excited to have this one. And this is a repress, very nice repress, by the way. And this is on Sanctuary, BMG. Cool. And I've been looking for this title from 10 years after for the longest time. Could never, I, you know, it's just, I just never found a good one. And this is a, a repress from 1975. I'll take it because it sounds good. And, you know, maybe later. I'm missing Watt, too, by the way. Would really love to find Watt. I enjoy Watt a bit more than this one. But I uh, love Alvin Lee and 10 Years After. And here's the back cover here. Really, really nice record. This is from 1969, and again, the repress is from 1975. Now, I picked up two records from an artist that I love. He was in Bauhaus, and this is Peter Murphy, and this is Blind Sublime, and this is a three-song, 12-inch single. Yeah, I had to get this one. This was $9, and that's okay. And you, we have, I've got a miniature secret camera, which I knew that track in Blind Sublime and Fun Time is on here as well. And this is on Beggar's Banquet. You gotta love that. And then from Canada, this is from 1983. This is a band, ska, new wave, rock, and they're a bit, I mean, you gotta think Regatta de Blanc from The Police, and that's The Tenants. And this is a fun record, I like this. The, the track here, Sheriff, is really quite good if you want to listen. And here they are, the tenants. And that was in the clearance bin, that was all of $3. And I had to get something local from Oakland, California. These guys formed in the um, late 60s. And by the early 70s and mid 70s, they really got their funk on, soul, R&B, funk. That's the natural four. And I have another copy that I scored at a thrift store, but it just doesn't sound good, and this does sound very good. And this is on Curtis Mayfield's label, and I'll show you Curtis in just a moment. There we go. 
and check out the Natural Four on Soul Train. Really great, good stuff. Absolutely. And then I picked up two titles for a band that I've been, I had it on my hit list and I found it, man, I, I couldn't believe it. And this is, uh, this was their breakout for the U.S. a bit from 1987. This is All Fool's Day, quite different from the first three epic The Saints albums. This band is from Brisbane, Australia, up in Queensland. And I got turned on to these guys in the early 80s, and I only heard them. And my friend did not give me a cassette from the Saints debut. So it took all these years until Ben Rankins reminded me about this band. So uh, I'm on the hunt for Saints. I, I'm looking for the debut. But this is nice to have. It really is. And these stickers can be a little hard. I paid $15 for this. Not bad, um, especially because I just wanted some Saints badly. And there it is on TVT. And there is one more title by them, you'll see. And then I didn't have Sleepwalker by the Kinks. So this is very, very fun to have, definitely. And I like the Arista years. I like everything Kinks, actually. Everything. The back cover. And there's just a great, great inner photo of the band. Ray and Dave and the boys. And this is simply on Arista. And I think that uh, this is second press, but it sounds good. And it's nice and clean. The vinyl's uh, VG++ to near mint. And here's, you know, I saw Brian from Embryonic Robot show this record. And I thought, man, I would like to have one of those. And here it is, Deep by Peter Murphy. This is one of his best solo records by far. Although they're all good. They really are. And I'll be opening this up, and here's the hype here for Peter Murphy. And lastly, the second release by Brisbane's own, The Saints, and this is Eternally Yours. And this is on green vinyl, I'll show you in a minute. And again, the first three The Saints records are the ones to get. And uh, yeah, I'm dying to get the debut, so we'll see how and where and when I find that one. And look at this great, great back cover of the band, of the boys. And here on a Harvest Repress, with a beautiful green, shiny vinyl. And the inner here. And I do want to show you uh, San Francisco a bit, if please stick around. And next week, I do have a, a big time grail to show. I, I don't use that term very often, actually never, but this is a bonafide grail. And I told a couple of folks I was going to show it already, but I'm going to put it off until next week. All right, enjoy San Francisco, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. We're down at Fisherman's Wharf. down Leavenworth and the bay straight ahead and that's Alcatraz Island out in the bay <laughs> 